Welcome to Pack Valham in another pack collection video. It is time to walk down memory lane. I will explain the jokes and shenanigans of Vibble Left Alive Season 2, which is a series where it's been a lot of fun to look like an idiot. The basic concept of Vibble Left Alive is that when I watch it, watching it, yeah. I think you know the basic concept of Vibble Left Alive is. Basically, just make a prediction about a trolled series by DGR. And if I'm wrong, keep bead boozled. And it's two beads in season three, but just one for each incorrect prediction in season two and season one. And I thought there were you know, jokes or shenanigans, which are pretty much irrelevant to typically funny things or clever editing or anything funny in the background, anything that's, that's not necessary for the basic, you know, uh, concept. And there are many such types of jokes and shenanigans that teach your videos and live streams, but they're not being included here for the not adding things significant. Don't. You can put your own, you can suggest your own with iSwitch's form, and then you can look in the iSwitch's spreadsheet to see all of them. Yeah. All right, next set of files. The Big Adventure by Sasha Ender from Film Music IO. Enthrall of the Big Blue Beyond by Brian Holtz Music from Film Music IO. Big Mojo by Kevin McLeod from Film Music IO. Big Eyes by Raphael Crux from Film Music IO. Your Big Rock Concert by Winnie the Moog from Film Music IO. The Big Bang by Alexander Nakabrata from Film Music IO. Uh, never mind, I've decided against going off on a tangent about how the Big Bang is just a theory and contradicts that matter cannot be created from nothing by natural forces and stuff. Arabic Big Bass by Winnie the Moog from Film Music IO. <laughs> Big Ambient Logo by Winnie the Moog from Film Music IO. So, what you're telling me... Troll of the Troll 2! As the Troll series, the series where we are continually...
Take the ride. Doobly-doo. Troll the Troll 3. It will shoot. Second one of these. You could have. Not we need any. Oh, but I. Oh, never. I have no idea to be so. I'm not mentioning any names as a picky eater. I'm picky. Eight. It's a belt. Troll the Troll 4. This is the same. The Gone Fishing Bit. Um. Womp. Double O. Quick Brown Fox one, two, three. ABC one, two, three. G H L M Troll of the tr what what's this one? What's this one? Troll of the Troll five A Oh the title. Um What? Troll the Troll 5B. I did confirm that the audio was good. And that's because the audio was bad in oh the two God. parts before, and so. Yeah, there is. They're this one and. They're denying it. They're that one, I it. tested the audio, tested the microphone. Find out if it has something to do with the settings because they're. Failure. Here. I did could. <laughs> Drove the troll five C. Summer Rangtone. Hand Balance Redux. <sighs> okay. I don't know how many more. Episode 3, Troll the Troll the Troll, Part 1, Intro of the Intro of the Intro. The I Beloved the Lie series of 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 the I Beloved the Lie 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 of the I Beloved the
We are continually showing it can be... What am I saying? I don't know what's going on, but I am gaming out of my mind right this second, and it's kind of scaring me. Editor me had to clarify that this was season two, but that wasn't really necessary, was it? Oh, I missed it. Um, this new trolled video is called Troll of the Troll of the Troll of the... So I decided to repeat of the I Bluff to Lie series. That is pretty hard to say repeatedly, so I slurred and mumbled my speech. Then, I spoke clearly but mixed up the intros again. I looked at Dave as if he could help me with what I'm saying. He didn't... He didn't know what I was saying, and I still didn't know what I was saying. Of the I Bluff to Lie series. 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 Of the I Bluff to Lie Of the I Bluff to Lie Okay, I saw it that time. It was up there. Season, season two. How is the big challenge? How is that big challenge going on? I've decided again. Another. Of, you don't have to tell me. Okay. See the oopsie texty shenanigan from near the end of the previous video. That, that is the previous explanations video. Uh, some of the text here got moved to earlier in this video, somewhere in jinkiest part 4. The effect was supposed to be that editor me says that it is going well, but that text is behind me, and I'm told, or I'm looking, to look at the other side, and editor me does it again. I eventually gave up, and editor me says, okay. Jacksepticeye after lie. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you liked it, punch. What? Well, okay. I I do not know where Sean McLaughlin, Jacksepticeye, came from. Uh. I started to do my outro, but. Jacksepticeye started to come out. I stopped when I said PUNCH! I did not know where he came from for my outro, but Editor B made a joke followed by a winking emoticon by saying that he came from Ireland. That is where he is from, but it's not what I meant by not knowing where he came from, hence the joke. Jack's real name is Sean William McLaughlin, and he is an Irish YouTuber and gamer with a with loud energy. Another challenge beaten. Similar to the end of the night challenge, there was a little bit remaining of the current music, so I put filler text on the screen. Filmmusic.io is where I got all the big music used in this video. By the way, I'll do all the After Black things in their own video. Probably just the season ones in their own video, and then season two in their own video, and then season three in their own video. All right. I move on to part two. Oh, okay. Why did I? Why did I do some of these? Th okay, I'm this. Okay. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Mm -hmm. 
This is a teaser for something that will happen later in the video, and will be explained later in this video. I cropped just around it for this teaser. Opening the windows. Usually, I already have the I Beloved Lies Season 2 windows open, but for this video, I decided to show you what it looks like for me to open the windows. I pretended to look up or elsewhere around me from my face cam to see what I was doing. <laughs> Crooked glasses. <laughs> Hello, my friends. <laughs> The thumbnail of the thumbnail of the thumbnail of the troll episode of the troll episode of the troll episode called Troll of the Troll of the Troll of the... Shows Dave with his glasses crooked. Before I opened the video, I decided to... I have a typo. I put by. I need to put B. I tried to be funny. I'll read what I think I intended to put here instead of what I actually put here. Before I opened the video, I decided to be funny by making my glasses crooked like Dave's. Trouble with tribals. Uh, the second part of this episode of this episode of this episode of... The I Will Have to Lie Season 2 series of the I Will Have to Lie Season 2 series of the I Will Have to Lie Season 2 series. It's been a lot of fun to look like an idiot. Because Dave says the Trolled series, the series where we are continually showing that it. Fun fact there are two versions of Trouble with Tribals. First, go to the YouTube video. At 1 minute 26 seconds, some of the percussion goes away. At 1 minute 46 seconds, some more percussion goes away. At 1 minute 52, it all comes back. Now, go to filmmusic.io. Well, okay, this, this, it, uh, this is news to me. Kevin McLeod is not on filmmusic.io anymore. It seems like. Unless I needed to log, well, no, I don't know. 
back when I was writing the script, it, this part was relevant, but right now it's not anymore. So back then, Trouble with Tribals is... The, well, I guess I'll just... I'll just change the tenses while reading. I'll keep this as present tense, but I'll read it as past tense. Trouble with Tribals was there twice, and the W was uppercase in both entries. Almost all the music information was different, including uploaded dates by more than a month and the durations by a second. The percussion removal parts were still there in both entries, but three seconds before the YouTube video. Now, go to Incompetech. There are no such percussion removal sections. I used the EQ to make it sound like those sections as best as I could. So it was around about a minute 26. And also, <laughs> you can see that the W is not capital there, it's lowering. Another thing. Uh, yep. Equatorial complex. Uh, I mean, it's, I don't, it's, uh, it's not on Incompetech yet. But he has a video about it. And guess what? Equatorial complex is Hi. Equatorial complex is screensaver. He just made screensaver just a little bit ago, like, what is it, 2019? A few months before the COVID pandemic. I mean, the, the, the classifications on YouTube are different. The descriptions and in specific instrument lists are different. The Feels are different, the genres are different, but they sound identical. And I do have, I have more examples. There's also Transition 1 and Sleepin' Then, which sound identical. The Freddy's Menagerie and World Vice, which sound identical. Hot Rock, Sax Rock and Roll, and then there's Rock Hybrid that you can read all of these. Sober Scotsman is on free PD, but it sounds identical to Cold Sober, which is on Incompetech. Same here. With responsibility and good night. Good night's on page two of Free PD. I've already mentioned this for the night challenge. There's also Superpower Cool Dude and Synergy Cruiser. Synergy Cruiser on Free PD, but it does sound a little differently. Well, the Synergy Cruiser does have more bells than in Superpower Cool Dude, which also has bells, but not as much as Synergy Cruiser. And Return of the Mummy and Bollywood Groove. Bollywood Groove on Free PD, but it's faster than Return of the Mummy. Smooth Move and Snowdrop, there were both piano pieces on Incompetech, and I think Snowdrop was removed, but Smoother Move is still there, not to be confused with Smooth Move, which is a, like a drum and bass, or that's what it is, like a synth bass and electronic drums, and that's it. No piano. And actually, a lot of, there have been multiple people, not just me, that noticed this a screensaver. Yeah. Alright, that was a tangent. Now let's get back to it. Oh, uh, I didn't mean to flash that. But editor me can blur it or censor it something. 
I have to lie times three. I have to lie season two series of the I have to lie season two series of the I have to lie season two series. It's been a lot of fun to look like an idiot. During the intro, I duplicated the I have to lie text for each time that I. Do you mind? Well, that worked in season three, episode one. During the intro, I duplicated the I Belove to Lie text for each time that I said I Belove to Lie season two series. It variants polyrhythm. Oh, why is it say 4.1? That should be 3.1. The description of the DHR video changed, or editor me put text on it to make it look like it changed. Invariance is a suspenseful piece of percussive music that comes in two tempos and keys in the same audio file. I put both of them together and, and noticed they create a neat polyrhythm, specifically 7-8. A polyrhythm has two or more different rhythms playing at the same time, each with different numbers of beats evenly spaced within the same time. The numbers indicate how many beats each rhythm plays before they line up again. In this case, the slower tempo plays 7 beats and the faster tempo plays 8 beats before they line up again. Technology Connections is an educational YouTube channel about, would you believe, all kinds of technology. It is run by Alec Watson, and he has a good sense of humor. I recommend you turn on the closed captions on all of his videos that you watch while they are available, and leave them on for the entire duration of the video. I'm pretty sure more than once he said, Neat! After saying a neat fact about, would you believe, a piece of technology. Here is an example. That heat ends up simply being borrowed in the winter months and returned in the summer. And being able to transfer it into a cool liquid means no matter how hot it gets outside, the system will run at peak performance. Neat. Going up. Oh, that's, that's so fuzzy, so blurry. Let's change that one. Going up. Ooh. Give me that 1080 P60. Hi, def. The video before the nope. The video after the ad started so fuzzy and so blurry. I changed the quality, but before I did so, I had to move my face cam. I said, going up like an elevator, and then made a rising pitch noise as I moved my face cam up. I pretended to look down to see the buttons to change the quality. This is the first of the recurrence of Give Me That 1080p60 in I Belove to Lie Season 2. Here is my preference of YouTube video quality. If HD is available, I choose the lowest one. Otherwise, I choose the highest available quality. So basically, lowest HD. D if possible, otherwise the highest that is available. And we just got new internet that is, you know, our older, old internet was like, our new internet is like much faster, much faster. So there should be in the next episode, also this one, this video and all future videos should be, uh, you shouldn't have the quality issues anymore. 
Fright Night Twist. Hi, Beth. So I still don't know if that warp box is correct or not. Alright. Scroll to. This was used in the night challenge, but I was not allowed to pitch shift it. Here, I have pitch shifted it up by one, or modulated it up a half step every eight measures. When I got halfway through the octave, or pitch shifted up by six half steps, I dropped it down an octave on the second beat of the measure. I'm trying to find that. Twelve. This one, 12 minus 1, 11. Shaky microphone. I bumped the Bloom Snowball microphone again, but I didn't say anything about it. Peter Mead decided to put a shaky effect on the part of the video where I bumped the microphone. Word cordification. This is the correct way forward. Word. In. Oh. Dave said, this is the correct way forward. At that last syllable, Dave said it in G sharp. I chordified it as I like to do with an E major chord. G sharp is the middle note in the chord, which is the third note of the scale. Triads usually have the first, third, and fifth, which in this case are E, G sharp, and B. Ice sickle. Ice cycle. No, ice. I'm not even sure I pronounced sickle, which is a different word. I just say death by ice. On this. We want to hit that and then. I was unsure how to spell icicle, so I put the two words ice sickle. I wasn't even sure if I'd spelled sickle correctly, but I had an editor me put a text on the screen saying so. Another typo, I put scree instead of screen. Small face cams. For those watching at home, this level is very thick with trolls. I'm gonna make myself very tiny. So right here, just till we. Get oh, I paused it a while ago, but now, or I mean, I clicked so to pause a while ago. But why did it take so long? Do you finally get paused? This is how small that I can make myself. I cannot make the face cam any smaller than that. But if I want to give the illusion that I'm smaller, I could back it up, back it up, back it up. Editor B used to back back it up as a teaser at the beginning and for the next troll episode try to have a teaser like that at the beginning of every episode well, actually I did have a kind of a longer intro showing me set up everything but yeah the back it up teaser goes before showing me setting up everything we get to a point where I understand a lot of trolling was happening in that course, so Dave made his face cam small so that you could see more of the action. I made mine as small as I could, which is not as small as Dave's. To give the illusion that I'm getting smaller, I could go backward. I demonstrated while saying, back it up, back it up, back it up. I accidentally hit the closest dining room chair. Which was f funny. I told editor me to use this as a teaser just before the long intro of me setting up everything, which I did not forget to do. 
I did, however, forget to have teasers for the next episode, which is Don't Trust episode. But I did not forget to have teasers at the beginnings of all the videos of the last episode, which is the Tower episode. I have the pitch shift. What? I just noticed another typo. Uh, I did not take care of the teasers at the beginning of all the videos of the last episode, which is the tower episode. I put videos. I switched the O and the E. Uh, anyway. Previously, when I blocked a lie, jokes and shenanigans explained, I mentioned that I like F minor. This time, I pitch shifted I have the power down by 4 from A minor to F minor. This next one. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I want to do this one. Oh. Yes. Yes. Yes! 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 <laughs> Dave figured out that he had to take damage twice. Both times he did, he said, Yes. <laughs> that reminded me of the drag. Wait. Now I'm second guessing if that was drag. That reminded me of the drag clean ad that played earlier in this video. Yes, that's what I'm calling it. So I put both times that the drag clean says yes on the screen to the right. Okay. Face cam floating. Face cam floating. Mm. Nope, not floating. Okay, hey, so the. <laughs> I moved my face cam just below Dave and looked up to pretend to see if Dave's face cam was floating. It wasn't, so I did not get that bingo space. You still have our Christmas clock up there. Where's the bird clock? I guess, it, well, it looks like the batteries are taken out of that one. It, the hands aren't moving, and I haven't heard Christmas music for a few days. But anyway, bird clock of the bird clock of the bird clock. While making the prediction that all the pipes are trolls, the bird clock chimed in the background. I took the time to point at it, or make it appear that way with the illusion of 2D projection. Too scientific? Well, the space I'm in is 3D, and I did not really point at the bird clock. But computer screens are 2D, and I positioned my finger at the right height to make it look like I was. Pitch shift FM. Well, I flubbed that one. Pitch shift FM. Are any of these pipes real? We're gonna start with the blue pipe. Um, okay. Is the 
this the real life? Is this just fantasy? I pitch shifted Sports FM down by two from G Mixolydian to F Mixolydian. Similar to how I pitch shifted, I have the power to an F scale. Mixolydian is a mode, which is a modification of a scale. Specifically, Mixolydian takes the regular major scale and flattens the seventh, making it a whole step to the octave instead of a half step. And a half step from the sixth instead of a whole step. This is what C major sounds like, or Ionian, the basic major scale. Oh, that went too, went too slow at first and too fast, so I'm just going to bring it out at 80. That's still too fast. 60. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To get to Mixolydian, you take this B, make it flat. So this is what C Mixolydian sounds like. Mm. Watch this. I can drag the notes together. So they'll have the same intervals, same distances between them. If I put it down to G, look at that. G, Mixolydian, uses the same notes as C major. But instead of starting at C, you start at G. Uh, all seven modes of a major scale use the same notes as the scale. G, Mixolydian, uses the same notes as C major. Some chords of sports FM go between G major and F major, or for the case of my pitch shifting, between F major and E flat major. Dave started singing Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen in E flat, and it just so happened that this pitch shifted sports FM played an E flat major chord just before that, then went back to F major as Dave continued singing. This, I believe, is good harmony, better than if I hadn't pitch shifted sports FM. Pipe chordification. We're gonna start with the blue pipe. What? <laughs> None of that explains my face earlier. Anyway, uh, Dave was trying these pipes one by one with no success. When he found out that the blue pipe was also incorrect, he made a funny wah sound. And you know what I like to do with funny sounds? I duplicate the video so I have three copies. I resize two of them and I pitch shift two of them. Doobly doo. So I'm gonna. So I'm wrapping this up. If you're smart, click the like button. <laughs> click the like buttons. If you're a genius, click the subscribe buttons. And the cat suit. Bells. <laughs> um, and you'll see me next time. Until then, take care. Doobly Doo is the nickname for the description of a YouTube video. This piece of background music is called Doobly Doo, as if Kevin McLeod intended it to be used for a YouTube video outro. Hey, I used it for that purpose here. I spent a few seconds figuring out how to point to both like buttons, mine and DGR's, at the same time, which I ended up successfully doing. I moved to my face cam and changed how I was pointing so that I could point to both subscribe buttons, mine and DGR's, at the same time. In Super Mario Maker 2, the power-up that looks like a bell is a cat suit. On YouTube, the bell is used to enable notifications for a channel. 
Since both are bells and most of future videos are with Super Mario Maker 2, I decided to be funny by calling the notification buttons cat suits. That's it for part two. Um, let's see, do I have time for part three? Boy, there's quite a bit here in part three. Uh, let's see here. Um, open. Now I'll just do part three and part four next time. And then part five after. Oh boy, there's so much for part five. Oh boy, there's so. Oh, and there's also part six. I'm going to save part three and part four for next time. If you are smart, click the like button. If you're a genius, click the subscribe button. We'll see me next time. Until then, my friends, take care. That's how I can combine my outro with TGR's outro.